you guys could get Carl Palmer to watch this video, I'd give you a sticker that says good job, like the ones they give you in primary school, when you do something right. <laughs> All my videos are usually recorded at 8 to 9 p.m. every night, and I've actually got daylight. I never usually have a chance to film during the day because I've got my family walking around and it's a weekend, so I don't want to be too loud. That makes sense and I don't, I don't want to be disruptive we're doing another unboxing video shocker today's the fanfare box set from Emerson Lake and Palmer I've seen no videos about this box set and I'll tell you a little story so when I initially found out about it I was like I have to have this like I was like I just needed to have it and I saw it on Amazon for £800. I was like, I don't have £800 to spend willingly on a box set. So me and my dad, who is also a big ELP fan, we searched every little crevice of the internet to find one that was not £800. And we managed to find one on eBay for under £500. So we just went with that. It came from the US. Because this box set is so bloody rare that we had to get it elsewhere. Like it wasn't available in our country at all. They're all numbered. Number 1,610 of 3,000. Now, this is a CD slash vinyl box set. So I was excited to get CDs, obviously. I've got my nice CD player over there. And also the triple album that's included in this box set, which is a live album. Enough of me nattering, let's go. Lid comes off simple as. Comes with the folder of extras as in most of these box sets. So we have two seven inch singles that come in this box set. This is a tour program. There's more than one in this box set. Uh, this is one from the 70s. This is a news article promotion stuff and it folds out into a nice poster. More unseen photos and some articles at the end. And as I said before, there is another tour program, but this one is from 1992. So first or second, I should say, we have a nice hardback book with unseen photos and details about each album, which is great to read because I always love learning about how bands make their albums, produce their albums, record their albums, because it's what I am aspiring to do. I think I mentioned in a video previously, but uh, I'm going to university this year and I'm studying music production. so. I always kind of keep a lookout for the production because as someone who wants to be a producer I want to take some inspiration from my favourite bands and my favourite producers. Next we have the triple album, live album from 1973, listened to it already and gate folded, very nice, very nice, and the CDs. So. I'm going to show those now, again, doing the same format. Everyone's favourite album.
So at the time I'm recording this video, I actually just hit 100 subs. That is crazy. I started this channel a week ago and my first video has already got 1.1k views. Thanks for the overwhelming support. I've said this in my last video and probably the video before that, but I cannot be more grateful because I've actually started YouTube channels before, but they've just all flopped. But I think I've really found what I'm good at and what I'm good at talking about and the people who I'm aiming to talk at because a lot of people in my comment sections are also big prog fans like myself so being able to talk to other prog fans makes me really happy because none of my friends are prog fans apart from maybe my boyfriend I'm converting him <laughs> um, but other than that I talked to my dad about it so talking to people on the internet about prog and stuff like that it makes me really happy and yeah thank you guys for watching yeah so have a great day i uh, have a good 2021 yeah i'm gonna wish everyone a good 2021 because i think we need it at this point because 2020 was such a disaster that i don't know how we're gonna overcome it you know there were people partying on new year's secret raves that pisses me off. If you did that, I'm angry at you. If you did that, if you went to that church hall with 300 people and had a New Year's Eve party, fuck you. <laughs> You're the reason we're still inside and the reason why people are still dying. Anyway, let's not get political here. Have a great day, guys. Bye.